What is up, DG Army, Nether Void, also known as John, back with more Dungecraft. Uh, as you can see, I'm still in the factory, working on the factory. And actually, I just figured out how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to pull the finished products of these machines out. I'm going to obviously pull them out of the front, but I'm going to make this retriever pull them out. So it's going to be doing double duty, and that's actually going to send it right back through for stuff like uh, dusts and stuff that need to be reprocessed. Now, the one thing I'm not doing with the processing is I don't have any nether ores in here. So, if you have nether ores, suck it, I guess. I'm not going to be putting those in here, too. They would probably go through this the furnace. Um, well, they would go through the furnace. But I'm not doing that, so don't bring nether ores. Um, so, th that retriever should also pull the finished product out of here. And it's going to send it right back through the sorter to get sorted. Once everything is processed, it will come through the default line here and uh, get sorted right into these chests. So there's going to have to be another sorter here that's going to sort stuff. I wonder if I could have put it there. Bitch I can. Let's let's knock this guy off and put the sorter right here. So this is going to be white. And that means I was going to create a sorter. You can see I have a filter here. Let's just do that right now. And uh, since I've already got the materials, let's see. Let's do sorter, sort sorter all right cool I have all that stuff it's probably just in the other thing here nope um, did I put it in here yeah okay so another sorter here to sort into the proper containers and I think this yeah the blue alloy is in here this should be pretty fast uh, filter where the heck did it go okay here we go iron Bam, sorter. Okay, cool. I don't even need to mess around and off camera or anything. So that sorter is going to go here. And it's facing the wrong direction. Where's my... There it is. Screwdriver. Okay, let's just do that. Okay. So I'm going to need that guy to do that. Now how am I going to get power to this guy? Interesting. Very interesting. Maybe I should have it come down like that. I mean, then maybe put it there and I can sort it into chests here but that that's man that's a lot of room that I'm wasting I could run cable see I'm gonna have to run cable like all crazy and I really don't want to do that I could just do it right here let's do this uh, let's do this let's just run it right up under here alright cool so I'm gonna drill let's see I'm gonna have to connect these two which means I'm gonna have to go under that stuff which, again, I don't really mind doing that. It's just, uh, might as well get some. You mean me? Or Kiwi? Andrew's on the server. I think he's trying to get his Dungecraft stuff going. Uh, let's see what I, what I run into here. Oh, cool, cool. Okay, I don't even need to do that. So let's just lay some of this in there. That's what she said. Which, I keep saying that, but it's a funny joke. It never gets old. Okay, here we go. Bluetricity, and it's got to come up right there. So let me fill this junk in. Oh, actually, I, I think I've got one too many pieces in there now. So even that black cobble is really cool. I can't wait to kind of build something with this stuff. Oh, I don't need that. I need these. All right, here we go. So once I've got this, I'm going to use, let's see, covers. Uh, okay, so the covers are going to have to go on the outside, right? Like this. Because that stuff won't go up the inside of a cover like that. So there we go. Okay, he's getting power. I don't really like it when it does that. Ooh! Ooh, that would save even more space. Okay, hold on, guys. Now, I, have, I, I really don't build in the test world very often anymore, so you're just seeing me kind of think almost out loud here in thinking of how I'm going to do this stuff but I'm going to have it go this way this is going to be even cooler alright so we got this let's see coming straight up this direction because I want to do this I want to run and let me knock this pipe off too since I want the white to be right at the edge of that sorter so let's do this. Uh, it's going to go like that, and then the sorter is going to be here. It's going to sort down. 
So let's get the uh, ye old. Oh, I got the screwdriver right there. Okay, like that. That is way cooler. Which means I'm gonna have to have the covers kind of go like this. Let's see. Um. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting. Here, I'm just gonna. I'll just put some pipes up here to help me with my covers. So I'm gonna have to have one there, and there. There we go. Okay. This electricity cabling gets really odd at times. Okay, cool. So that's all hooked up. I mean, it doesn't have to look really pretty. I just want it to look kind of cool. Oh, oh, that's not good. This is not good. I wonder how that's staying up there. It's really odd. Is it staying up there? Wow, that was weird. That's still hooked up. Okay, cool. So now I can cover this up again. And I think I just need to do this. Every time that happens, I gotta look out because creepers could blow some junk up. I think someone's still around here jumping around. Or maybe that's a mob on the roof. Okay, so now this sorter's hooked up. Let's connect some pipe on the back side of this guy. So now what we're going to be doing is uh, routing this guy to all the, um, the next set of chests. So it's going to be something like this. Let's see. It's got to go out this far, right? I'm going to need more tubing. All right, I'm going to get the tubing. Let's see. Actually, I don't, don't think I'm going to need... Yeah, I'm going to need a lot more tubing, and that is going to require glass pretty much out of glass. Where is that? There it is. This is my last set of sand until I need to... Uh, so let's put some of it in here. I'll put some of it in this other one. Um, it No, it shouldn't get sorted because the sorters aren't even on yet. So. And that's interesting. Oh, that's the macerator. Derp, derp, derp. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to need to go out and get more sand. I'll have to do that off camera. I'm just going to take a filler out and just cut like a halfway half mound of sand down or something. And I'll be back when those are done and I have some more tubes and stuff. All right, we're back and uh, it's raining out there, so I'm just kind of leaving on. People are coming and going from the server. So I kind of started to get this little set up here. And I also got chests and stuff. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to put, let's see, nothing is going to be default. We're just going to put cobble and white, and then we're going to put reinforced iron, which I guess I, I, I did hurt derp a little bit. We don't need iron. We need reinforced iron. So I sent the iron bar back through the furnace. So it comes through as an iron dust if it goes in as an ore, and it comes back through as a bar because we need reinforced iron. We do not need regular iron. So the second one, which would be red, if I could ever find it. Oh, yeah, that's backward. Forgot. The red will be reinforced iron. The orange will be tin. The rubber will be, I guess, yellow. And we're going to have to use a couple more uh, colors in here. Probably going to need purple, which I think I actually have, but it's back at base. So green is going to be copper. Actually, we could just flip-flop these. It doesn't really matter. And just keep those um, together. We're only going to need these for one thing. Redstone is going to be blue. Let's find blue. I think it was right before green. And then we actually need two more colors. We need glass and coal dust. So gla coal du or glass will be... Per that's is that lavender or purple? That's the only thing I don't like about these colors. It's hard to tell if something... Okay, I think that was purple. So we got purple, and then I'm just going to make this one black. So I do need to get two more colors, so I'm going to have to go back to base to do that. But let's start setting up the ones we do have. So we got Cobble here. He's set up to white. Uh, and actually, he probably doesn't need as much space as that. Because reinforced iron is going to be here. Hold on, let me move my little uh, map over. It was getting covered. Um, and this is going to be needed in two places, so we're going to put two filters on that. That is going to be red. And so next we have tin, which is orange, then copper, and then 
Well, we do have green, I think, and blue, so let's get those out. Let's see. Just need the purple and the, uh... So, then rubber will be green, and I don't have my chest for that. And then we're going to have redstone, which is going to be needed in two recipes as well. Should be fine there. Let's see. Okay. That's going to be blue. Oh, oh. Nope. Not that. Because if you put the blue there, nothing will sort past blue. So blue. And then we're going to move this guy a little bit closer. I thought I was going to need more space to for the uh, reinforced iron. But I'm not going to need all that space because... Um, I can put a filter on top and a filter in front. I kind of forgot about that. So we're going to have to curve this around. I don't think we're going to be able to get all the, all the auto crafting in here. Kind of wish we were using more of this side now. So we're going to curve around and probably the exit will be over there, which is fine. We have plenty of room. Okay, so we've got it all set up. Now we, only, we do have the two more, which will have to be purple and black. So let's set those chests up. We'll, I'll have to go get the color and be back. So these will be all the intermediate, intermediary parts. Let's start getting the filters on here because I'm also going to have to put more filters. In fact, I probably should do the filters out of the top. That'll save some space. Hmm. The filter is going to be pulled by a regulator. And if I put the filter, the tube, the regulator, the tube, the chest, the auto crafter, it's not going to work out. So let's do it like this. Uh, I don't think I can do that. Might have to put a tube behind it or something. Maybe blocks. So let's start getting this part set up. Which I don't even mind keeping it that way. It kind of looks cool. So filters all across here. Obviously going to be turned to pull out of the chest. Okay, there we go. So these guys are going to get redstone signals every time it crosses through the uh, regulator. I could make it pull down. That would actually probably be a better idea, but it doesn't really matter what it looks like up here, so let's just uh, do this. Now, the one thing we are going to need, I could just use paint, or I could use covers to split these up probably going to want to use paint. Let's just keep using white for cobble. So we got white coming out of there. I haven't made the regulators yet. I will be doing that in a moment. That can go to the regulator. Actually, the regulator could be right here and it could go down into the chest. That could be here, in fact. Although with cobble, it's not going to matter too much. But the regulator spits out, it's going to give this thing a redstone signal for the amount of times it needs to pop off. So, hmm, I'll be right back with the more materials and I'm going to test this a little bit, figure out exactly how the regulator is going to work. Hold on. I've got the stuff I need to make the other dies. So the way you have to do it is you actually have to make a pail. So I need to get tin and iron and I put it in the alloy furnace here to make, um, to make these tin plates. And I think you need seven of them per bucket, and I need two buckets, so that's 14. And they actually cook pretty fast. Um, and all I need is this and some flaxseed, and I can make paint. Then I need to make two more brushes, which is just wool and a stick. It's real simple. In fact, let's maybe do that while these are working. Let's get some sticks, and I think the wool's in here. And it works like this. Let's just get two of these. All right, bam. And uh, we're good. So this should do it. Don't need... Yep, 14. Perfect, actually. Let's put this stuff back. And as you can see, I was making some tubing. So let's do... Let's just do two of these since we're pretty much full in here. So I got two paint cans. And I got my oil, flaxseed, and dye. Now I should be able to just do this. I think it's like that, that, and that. Yep, there's purple. And now I need black. Uh, empty can. So now I have black. I have my two paintbrushes. Let's do that over here. Oh man, I wish I had a. Kind of wish I had another crafting table. It's, it's kind of getting a little thick in here. So purple brush. I, I was pretty sure I already had that, but whatever. Okay, and black. 
And I got an idea because I was thinking a little bit ago, what happens if someone puts in a bunch of junk over here? What if they just put a bunch of horrible crap in there that we don't want to ever sort? And I was thinking, well, maybe I can put it in this end chest right here, like a, just a junk chest. Um, so if they try to, if it, that way it, the uh, system won't clog up. So that's what I'm going to do right here. And I want one of these here now. Make it look all nice. Let's see. Come on. All right. And a block. And then I'm just going to paint this, which I probably should have done before I did this block. I'm just going to paint this black. And black will be default for the sorter over here. So let's go around. Let's go to the sorter, and I'm, let's make it black. All right, that way someone can't clog up our machines with a whole bunch of um, junk. Uh, let's put one more of these. Let's see. Okay, so there we go. That's all worked out. And now we got our last two colors, purple and black. So we got purple. Oh, you know what? I got to, nope, I need to knock these down. Okay, cool. Let's see. We got purple, which I think is for glass, and then this is coal dust, which makes perfect sense. Um, yep. Okay, so let's put these back. All right. Uh, so we're going to finish this probably in this or the next episode. I would imagine it's the next episode. So let's get to work on the regulator. Now, if you've seen my uh, my wheat farm video, you know I use the regulator to pull in a certain amount of stuff. And I actually figured out how to do this. Um, pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome, actually. We're going to need tons of these buffers. We're going to need... Let's see, how many regulators are we going to need? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're going to need seven regulators, so I'm going to make a whole bunch of these buffers. And let's just make one of them, and, and I'll, after that, I'll just make them off camera. So that makes bars. We're going to need tons of these iron bars. And then I think it goes like this with wood. Ah, uh, it's probably the other way around. It usually is. So, bam. How many? Uh, 14 of these. And I don't have enough. I ran out of wood. Interesting. Thought I would have ran out of iron bars first. Am I getting low on wood? I think I was at last. Oh, no, not too bad. Okay. And I'm going to have to go farm up some wood soon. I do want to make an auto wood farm. I'm just not really getting around to it. There's just too many other cool things to do uh, than to worry about. I just, I'm glad I have a lot of projects, though. It's kind of neat to have stuff uh, that I can look forward to. Okay, so we weren't going to need these bars for for many different builds. Let's put them in here. Um, so what's next on the regulator? Probably making sure I have enough red dope wafers, which I don't think I do. Nope, I need 14. So let's get those cooking. And I need redstone for that in the furnace here. And bam, bam. Okay, that should be fine. I don't think I can put these in there. Nope, that's fine. Okay, so what is next? I just wanted to get those cooking. So I have brass. I have wood. I have all that stuff. Oh, item detectors. Gonna need seven of these. Wow, we need a lot more red, dope wa red doped wafers. Let me get these going. I need to cut some more of those, uh, which I'm going to need another alloy furnace to do that. So I'll be back when I've cooked up all my red doped wafers. Hold on a second. So I'm done with my red doped wafers, but I herp derped like the next 30 minutes of footage. I'm not kidding. I didn't have my microphone plugged in, my headset. Um, the problem is the new fraps, I think. I think the old fraps, if you didn't have a mic plugged in, it, it would air out. And I think that was a bug. Um, I did a bunch of testing. I set up um, all the redstone here to get this retriever to work and stuff. And I tested all these and I flip-flopped the macerator and the furnace because they I, I had set the sorter up to be how I always do with red macerator, orange furnace, but I had these backwards. So I flipped those. I am going to redo the testing. So let's do that now. I set this up with a state cell so that um, this will stay active for a certain amount of time. And what that will do is people are going to leave this thing running if I let them. If I use a, uh, a lever right here, people are going to leave it running. It's all the stuff's going to be running. It's going to bog the server down because one thing I know about people, the majority of people are lazy. They don't finish what they start. They don't flush toilets. They, you just expect them to kind of screw up and you won't be disappointed. So what I've done here is I also put a light so that people see when it's running um, that it is running and don't put any items in because it's gonna start pulling them out of these chests. I've also set this up 
to do a test with iron and the, basically the raw materials for each of these if you're seeing the sand the coal all that redstone and I added a chest here that stuff that gets pulled in that doesn't belong in the factory will end up in this kind of default chest so I set up basalt bricks to, to test that part out right now I have this thing set up for a minute but I'm gonna have it set up for probably 10 minutes the factory will run for 10 minutes if you have that much junk in here that it's still being pulled all through this area uh, herp derp push the button again I guess um, so we're gonna test that now we're gonna test out the sorting and macerating and stuff because the, the iron is gonna have to go through through here two or three times but it's because it's gonna turn into refined iron uh, also I've combined a couple of these chests because there's no point in having them be separate when they're gonna go right into a crafting chest uh, table probably right after this chest for like rubber and copper are gonna be here and rubber and copper in this factory only make copper cable so I only need to have an autocraft chest right here um, same thing with coal and with um, well actually this chest is probably not gonna be here I'm just doing it for this test a couple of these chests are actually gonna move this one's gonna have glass and coal dust and that's actually gonna come around here to a chest around here that's gonna be hitting uh, right alongside another uh, auto crafting table I'm gonna try to make this with at least amount of filters and retriever or regulators as possible on this side so that's kinda how I change this uh, plan also I can mostly do it with auto crafting tables pulling directly out of chests and I'll show you that in a second but let's get this test started and I'm not using my timer let me put the timer on and then we'll start this test alright so timer is on we got about eight minutes left for this video so this is this is I'll change the sign to whatever time I actually end up putting this at so this should turn this light on immediately it does good cool cool so now it's starting to sort it pulls out one item at a time unfortunately it's just the way it is so this could take a long time to process so you can see cobble does not need any processing iron goes into the macerator and stuff's gonna bounce around because these are not uh, you know they're just regular machines it's not some super high power machines so we got rubber coming out which should sort back through here and into the default or into the second sorter which should send rubber I think to yellow everything's sorting out correctly there's glass going into black um, okay here are iron bars coming back in to turn into re, uh, re, uh, refined iron they get pulled out as refined iron perfect and now they're getting sorting into white so they can go through the second sorter and get sorted into their relative the correct chest which I think is red cool okay so that is all tested and this might even be down let's put this down to even even faster um, we'll start it up again just to watch how fast it'll go because it's only gonna be pulling out one item at a time so this thing really needs to hustle and that's again why I want to turn it off because stuff that's running all the time you don't want it running at that kind of speed um, it's just not good for the server so this light will stay on and this will probably have and I don't have any on me there's gonna be a wall around this factory so people can't get in there and mess with the auto crafting tables and stuff uh, so they're gonna not see anything that's going on inside here um, so that's why they need this light to know that it's still running um, so if we do check our stuff you put in that doesn't belong you dumbass chest the basalt brick does end up in there so cool the default path for this sorter is black is basically how that works as you can see I've hooked up the tube for that right there okay so we're done with that piece now we can get to the next stage because we've got all our refined materials redstone and we've got the two pieces that go directly into the panel over here so I'm gonna start setting that up and let's see I can just start setting some of that up right now one of the things that I'm gonna be setting up right off the bat is this copper cable it's something that really needs to get crafted almost right away because it, it gets put in a lot of different um, in a couple of the different sub components so let me pull out it's gonna be copper bars and rubber so let me just start uh, filling these in so the way these auto crafting tables work is a uh, you have to put the, cr the recipe in it and then it'll say hey I'm gonna create this when I do my auto crafting once once there's the, the exact ingredients it needs it'll pull it into here and then pop it out the other side so now what we need to do is set up a build craft pipe here 
And I hate using build craft pipes, but, you know, we have to for this part. It's the only part of it which will have built... Oh, I gotta reset my client, bear it back. Alright, I'm back. So, okay, so that... I'm gonna need a redstone torch there, because I'm gonna need redstone engines, and that's why I created so many redstone engines. Uh, let's see, where'd I put them? I know they're in here. Bam, there they are. So... The way this works is... You put a regular build craft pipe, wooden transport pipe... You can't use uh, any special pipes or anything, no advanced pipes or anything. Just put a, a regular redstone pipe, and that's actually the direction it should be coming out, red, um, into. And what I'm going to do is use silver chests, because I want to make sure there's uh, there's enough room to fit all the materials in here. If you put a huge stack in, you never know what order they're going to come in, and I want enough room for whatever you happen to dump in here. Someone might, I don't know, they might be making 200 solar panels for all I know. Okay, so, again, once this gets filled, it will pop through. It'll just start automatically crafting those cables, and they'll pop into here. Now, here's where it gets a little crazy, because two of the different things, and let me look at my, uh, look at my little thing that I tweeted out, my little uh, solar panel production process thing here. Two things need copper cables, battery and circuits. So the way I figured out how this is going to work is I have to have two auto crafting tables touching this. Because two of them need this this thing in the recipe. So this one's going to be circuits, and this one's going to be batteries. So let's set that up. Batteries, I think, are like so. And then I have tin and cabling over here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, cabling and tin bars. So the cabling is set up already. The tin is going to look like that, with a cable on top. Makes a battery. This one is going to be circuits, so that looks like this, with a reinforced iron in it. Okay, and reinforced iron is also used by two different recipes, so we're going to have to deal with that. And we're almost out of time here, I did not start my timer, and let me just start it real quick. I think we got about three minutes left. Uh, reinforced iron here, that chest is not going to stay there, it's probably going to go up here. Um, another thing is, tin is used by both of these recipes, or no it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Um, I'm going to move that tin up to here because it's only used by this to the battery one. So let's just move that. Do I have tubes? No, I don't have tubes on me. Or do I? Yes, I do. So I'll put tubes. Another thing I'm going to be doing, uh, not only with using covers, I'm also going to be using paint so I know where these things are going to. Um, I don't want to get confused once I move these chests. So this is going to be orange. Oh, that doesn't need to be a tube. It's actually going to be a chest. So I'll put that here. And I'm going to need covers for that. Actually, I don't need covers here because that's going to move too. But I do need a cover right there, and I don't have any on me. So we're getting pretty far in this build. And actually, all you did kind of miss was me building something and deciding I didn't want it that way to begin with. So... Um, you didn't really miss much. Uh, there we go. So that's going to be good. That will be filled with tin. Let me put that tin bar back in here. Just so we know it's tin. So there's going to be one more thing in this battery, right? Copper cables, redstone, and tin. Uh, the redstone is going to go right here. Because redstone is used by both of those recipes as well. Which means I'm going to have to use move that one. The redstone one right here, right? So let me put some tubes here. And I think I had it to where it was going to go like this. Let's see. Let's put this in first. Alright, we can take these out now. And this is going to be redstone. Okay. So the tubing is going to go like this. There we go. Gonna need to I don't think I need to cover here because I don't think it would actually go in there. It might, though. So, you know, let's just play it safe. I like to be safe. Uh, that's fine right there. Let's paint this whole thing blue. Not only will it help not... Oh, need to refill this thing. Allow it to not touch other red power tubes. Um, blue paint. It's kind of out of order there. A little confusing. Um... But it ha allows me to l use less covers. I don't like covers everywhere. That's one thing I learned about when my uh, auto sorting project is I really hate when there's covers everywhere. So let's just make this whole thing blue. 
Okay, so that whole thing is blue. So, that's all the time we have. I'm going to be setting up more of this stuff in the next video to get the second phase. I'm going to do all the subcomponents in the next video. I might even get the whole panel thing done, and then we might start testing it. I'll probably test out this piece right here where I'm actually making the subcomponents first, like I did for this, so I don't get too far where I have to recreate stuff. And I'm going to have to recreate this because it doesn't know what chest to go in. So anyway, that's all the time we have. Like, favorite, comment. Let me know what you think so far about the factory. Um, also, there's a thread in the video description where I'm talking about this whole series on Minecraft forums. Really appreciate you guys talking with me about it there and dropping questions in there. Um, I definitely answer every question in there. I might not get to every question in the YouTube videos, um, but I definitely get to any questions in that series. Helps new people find out about the series and just uh, helps me out a lot, and I really appreciate it, guys. Um, I'll, uh, so I'll see you next video. Later, dudes.